did she say no? She's not sharing her, her hoof. She's not gonna share her hoof with you. Anyways, it's the end of a month. It is time to crunch numbers and see what I spent um, as a German Shepherd breeder with my six breeding dogs and my three personal dogs. Uh, a lot of people always say being a breeder is super easy and you, you know, you just make bank, which is farthest from the truth. Um, especially if you have good quality dogs and um, you're always putting money into your program. Um, so we're just gonna see what I spent on my dogs in the month of March. So just to kind of recap, we do have our six breeding dogs. Um, we have we have our newest two, the twins, Iroh and Maple. Um, they are the two that came from Hungary. Uh, Iroh luckily came in February, so his, and I paid for, for him in, both of them in, um, back in October and in February. So uh, what I spent on them isn't gonna be included in this month, um, only because I spent that money back in 2021. Uh, but there were some other costs associated with bringing the twins here. Um, one of the first things that we had to do this month was we had to pick up Maple. And we picked up Maple on the 6th of March. We had to drive to Toronto, we had to pick her up. Um, and at the airport, there were two fees that we had to pay. Uh, one was directly to the airline, which was a total of about $250. Um, and then the other one was uh, the duty fees, what we had to pay to bring her into Canada. We had to pay duty, which was uh, $300. So to bring Maple, just to get her into Canada after I have already paid um, for her flight, for her, just to get her into Canada so I could take her home was an additional $500 just to, just to get her here. But she was worth every penny. She's a sweetheart and she's so cute. Just look at her. <laughs> and then on the, on the 10th, uh, we had to take Miss Blossom to the vet. She is one of the uh, puppies that we have in a guardian home. Uh, she left for her guardian home a few weeks ago, but we had to take her to the vet for her next uh, set of shots, just for her wellness exam, to just to make sure that she will be going to her guardian home in the, the best health possible. Um, and we did have to take uh, August to the vet too, um, just for her last round and just for her checkup and everything. So bringing August and Blossom to the vet was uh, five hundred and fifty dollars. <sighs> In the same week, we spent a thousand dollars on dogs. Uh, this month, we also you want to come sit with me. Yeah, you can sit with me. This month, we also made some homemade dog treats. Luckily, I had all the ingredients already here at home, so that cost me zilch zero dollars. That cost me zero dollars, so that was. That was nice on the pockets. Hi, handsome. Once Maple and Iro were both here, we had to take them both to the vet for their wellness. Um, we do a, a fecal float just to make sure they didn't catch any parasites um, during their travels here or if they already had some um, at their previous at the previous home. Uh, luckily, their fecals came back uh, negative, so no worms, which was which is really good. But we also just do like a, a deworming um, and then get their next set of get the next set of shots. Uh, so bringing them both into the vet was for their exam and for their shots was uh, was two hundred and was two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Um, but now they're up to date. They have one last shot in a few weeks. Um, but until then, they got their the rabies. They got actually they got rabies before they came into Canada because that was one of the prerequisites but they got lepto and they got their coronavirus. Um, so they're, they're good. With it being spring means all the grubby parasites are coming back out out of hibernation. Miss 
thinking this dog's audacity. How dare she walk in front of my camera? She can do it again. Oh my gosh, this dog. I... <sighs> Now's not the time to play. No, no, not right now. <laughs> With it being spring means all the grubby parasites are coming back out of hibernation. Uh, so we usually do a, uh, a dewormer uh, this month for all the dogs. And when you have adult dogs, dewormer really does add up. Um, we usually do a three-day cycle of uh, a dewormer called Panicure, which is really great. It, um, it tackles more like coccidia and giardia, um, which are grubby parasites, really hard to get rid of. So it's always good to to be preemptive. And are you gonna let me throw it? <laughs> it's really good to be preemptive and make sure we, we don't get it by, uh, by deworming all of our dogs. Um, and then in about two weeks, uh, we will do a, another set of Panicure uh, just for a couple days, just to make sure that if there were any eggs, that the eggs uh, now get tackled with the dewormer. I don't know if she wants me to throw it. Want me to throw it? And then in between uh, the Panicure dewormers, we also do uh, another dewormer called Strongid, uh, which really tackles roundworms, which are the most common parasite. Puppies pick them up easily. Um, us living uh, where we live, um, there's always gonna be parasites in the, the marshes and swamps now that they're starting to thaw out. So uh, to order the two bottles, they were both a, a liter each, um, cost us, Five hundred and fifty dollars. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Let me see. Yeah. I was wrong, and I wish I was right. Cost us five hundred and seventy dollars. <sighs> but it's better to deworm everybody than have to treat everybody for coccidia, giardia, roundworm. Um, and have to do fecal flows for every single dog. So, was it worth it? Yes, um, that $570 worth of medication will last us an entire year and then some. Um, and that is also enough to treat our adults for the entire year in the um, spring and the fall and all the litters that we have throughout the year as well. Thank you. There's little Jeff here, you see there's no noise? Now, a few weeks ago, we had this little Hamborn, so I had to register his litter. He was only one, but still had to register his litter with the... C <laughs> okay, okay, you go play with your mom. Had to register his litter with the CKC. Um, we do that with, with all of our litters. I uh, haven't done his individual registration yet because we wait until uh, the puppies go home and they're a few weeks in their new home and we know that they're going to be settled and situated in that home and there's going to be... Uh, no changes. So just his litter registration with the Canadian Kennel Club was uh, $28.70. So not bad, but just him, just one puppy to, to register for that litter. Uh, this month we've also started a scent class uh, down in in Barrie at the Red Barn and Iro has been going to, to scent class um, because we'd love to learn some nose work and some scent detection and maybe possibly do some competitions in the summer or possibly this fall uh, once he's finished all of his, his classes. But so far he is thriving, he is loving it. It is so happy to see this old man kind of perk up at, at, a, at scent class. But the class is six classes long uh, every once a week and that class cost $190 for the six weeks of, of classes. Then we had some miscellaneous medications for Sansa. Uh, Sansa is one of our grandma dogs. Um, she was from our very first litter. She is turning eight. Yeah, she's turning eight in August this year. Uh, she's just a, she's just an old grandma dog. She's cranky. She'd be one of those dogs who people who tell you to get off her lawn because she's just 
she's a Karen grandma. It's, but we love her. Uh, but Sansa last year developed something called fistulas. Uh, so she's been on medication since August for that. And the medication is uh, $297 every every month. Um, so at the end of this month, we got the nice bill for $297 for Sansa's fistula, fistula medication. Um, but hopefully the fistulas, uh, they're already starting to close and once they fully close, then she won't have to take the medication anymore. And that will be some nice savings to our, our pocket. Uh, another expense that we had this month is I had to order uh, two Embark kits. Uh, one for Jethro, uh, just because we are embarking all of our puppies um, this year. Uh, and one for Tatum, our new uh, French girl. Uh, French girl. <laughs> Tatum. Uh, so I had to embark both of them. Uh, so we ordered the Embarks. They came. Embark is the highest rated and most accurate dog DNA test. Um, it provides an insight for us on the breed, the health, uh, the ancestry, um, and what diseases the, our dogs or puppies may be at risk for. Um, and it's just a simple saliva mouth swab. Um, but we had to order those, uh, and each of those cost 149 US dollars. Um, so I'll put the conversion here in the receipts. And then we also uh, had to pay uh, for shipping to ship them back. Uh, it used to be free, but now we have to pay $9 um, to send them back to Embark for them to run the analysis for the DNA tests. And the biggest expense of the month, and it hits hard every single time, um, is dog food. We feed our dogs uh, Canna Large Breed, and the bags are roughly around $99 a bag. Um, and then there's the Large Breed Puppy that we feed to, to the younger ones, so uh, Iro and Maple, uh, Jethro and Nevaeh um, are all eating puppy food, even though Nevaeh is has begun to to wean Jethro and her milk is pretty much dried up. We've transitioned her back onto adult food, so she's still on the puppy food. So she's eating it um, along with with Jethro because they're still in our spare room. Um, so he'll want to eat what she's eating, and it's just easier that she's eating puppy food at the moment. Uh, when she goes back to her guardian home in a couple weeks, she'll get transitioned back to her, her original food. Um, but a bag of food, the size that we have, um, usually lasts about one week for, for all the dogs. Um, and then the ones who are eating the adult food are Grundy, Juvia, August, and Tatum. Um, between the four of them, a large bag of food lasts about a week. So I'm going to the store about once a week to get a bag of adult food and a bag of, of puppy food as well. Um, so I had to go buy dog food on March 2nd. Um, and I ended up buying two bags of puppy food and one bag of adult food, which hit me with a $316 bill. Um, picked up dog food on the 8th, um, picked up one bag of adult food, which was $99, and one bag of puppy food, which was $79, um, and then went back to on the 13th uh, for some more food and some treats, which was $130, um, went back for more food on the 20th and got two bags of puppy food and one bag of adult food, which was another $316. And then went, to, went back to the store for another bag of food on the 31st for one bag of adult food and one bag of puppy food. Um, so that's a grand total of, I don't know, but it's a lot. I'll, I'll, I'll put it here in the receipt what the, what the total is. But that's just what we spend on just feeding our dogs. Um, each month. And a canna is, I, I think it's a fairly, fairly good food. Um, it's Canadian made. Uh, the dogs do very, very well on it. Um, and we're, we're very happy with it. Hopefully next year we'll start to get to transition into, into more raw base. Um, as we progress on our little homestead here, we recently just got some chickens uh, and they're growing and they're doing well. These are more egg laying chickens. Uh, but we will be getting meat chickens um, a little later on in the year. But we'll, we'll start with these and then we're going to add quail and rabbit. Um, 
and, and fish, but for now we just have these chickens. Um, but it'll be nice to add chicken and egg to the dog's diet as, as we progress here at this new home. And on the middle of the month, around the 12th, uh, Blossom did leave for her guardian home. She went to an amazing home with an uh, amazing person who is a dog groomer. She um, is a dog trainer. She currently does dog fostering. Um, so she went to an, a fantastic home and she seems to be settling in quite well. She is very well loved and she's, she's, doing, she's doing very well. Um, with Guardian Homes, we do ask for a deposit from the Guardian Home just to make sure that the dog is in a good home. That goes along with our uh, agreement. Um, so we did get a $500 deposit when uh, Blossom left for her home. So that is the only money coming in from dogs this month and everything else has been spent on dogs. Um, and then there was, you know, miscellaneous things that I, I didn't uh, write down and, and didn't include, which was like gas driving to and from uh, vet appointments, driving to and from uh, scent classes. Uh, they, even though we had the ingredients for the treats here, they, you know, it was still, um, uh, still a product that was used for the dogs um, and eventually will have to be replenished. Uh, going to pick draw dogs up, dropping dogs off, um, and a few other miscellaneous things that kind of total up to around three hundred and twenty dollars. Um, so, with that all being said, between the uh, the vet appointments, the uh, dog food, the the classes, um, bringing Maple here, the registration, and all medication and miscellaneous, our total. Uh, for this month of March was this amount, which is about, uh, which was over three thousand dollars on basically uh, food and vet bills and medication um, for the dogs for the month. I I don't think that's terrible. Um, I've definitely spent more in a month on the dogs, and there are, are months where we are at the vet less and we spend um, less uh, per month on the dogs. Uh, this one's kind of nicely in, in the middle uh, to take care of the to take care of Grundy, Juvia, August, Maple, Iro, Tatum. Um, then we have Nevea and her son Jethro, and then we have our our personal dogs, our retired dogs. We have uh, Sansa, Irie, and then the the two Frenchies. Um, I didn't include the the food and the bills associated with them uh, because they're not part of this this breeding program. So this is just for the the breeding shepherds, which evens out to about five hundred dollars per dog for this month. Um, I don't think that's terrible. Uh, I don't think that's uh, super low either. That seems to be the the average. Um, um, so if we're spending around $3,500 uh, per month on the dogs, like I said, this is an average month, not a high month or a low month. That's roughly about $42,000 a year um, just on dog care with food, um, vet bills, and, and things like that. And this month we, we have a small litter. We only have, we only have Jethro, um, so it's not a... A large litter of nine that we have to deworm and take to the vet and um, and do x-rays and and health care for Ina. Ina, he's too small to play like that. Go on, go on. Um, so uh, and we have um, so we only have a small litter to care for for this month. Um, in April, we're expecting two litters, so that's two sets of x-rays. That's double the vet visits, double um, everything basically. Uh, double the um, the collars, the dewormer, uh, the puppy packages, um, everything, everything like that. Uh, so there are always ups and downs, different costs each month uh, associated with with dog breeding. So um, average month, not bad. Uh, we'll have to uh, to see how uh, April goes. Hopefully I'll get to do one of these videos uh, once a month or maybe I'll just kind of include it in a, another video just so we can kind of keep track of how much, you know, uh, myself spends and makes um, in a month uh, with with the dogs. I, I wouldn't change it. I absolutely love it. 
they're worth every single penny um, and all the time and energy and money that goes into them. But until then, I guess I gotta start saving up for, for next month because things only get more expensive. Uh, because now we have uh, Dakota and Daisy who are both due um, next month with their litters. Uh, we have both of their x-rays coming up in just a few weeks. Uh, so we'll be able to see how many puppies we're expecting from, from both of them. Um, so we're gonna have our hands full with that. But until then, we give Jethro lots of love because he's gonna leave in a couple weeks. He's gonna go home uh, Easter weekend to his, his new family who are coming today to see him. Right? They have a long drive. They're coming to do a little meet and greet with him. So I'll be sure to get a, a few short videos of the, the meet and greet with his new family. Neat. <laughs> All right. All right, until then, I guess I gotta keep track of what we're spending on dogs and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video.